half of the draw and say young is safely through she was bronze medalist at the last world championships she's going to play against a former world champion and two-time finalist nozomi okuhara what a run she's had she has disposed of two former world champions on her route through to the quarter final and as you saw uh, awaiting the winner of this match is the former Asian champion Wang Shi Yi. So Chen Fei, the Olympic champion. Here she is against Denmark's very own Mia Blickfeld. Former world number one, Chen Fei, playing in her fifth world championships. And of her previous four world championships, she has three medals, two bronze and a silver. But all smiles for the number 15 seed, Mia Blickfeldt of Denmark. Playing in her sixth consecutive world championships. Danish fans on their feet to welcome her into the arena. Twice been a quarter finalist at the All England Championships. Two medals from European Games, a gold four years ago and a silver this year. Twice a bronze medalist at European Championships and two finals this year at the Swiss Open and of course those European Games I was mentioning. So she is a player that has rekindled the sort of form that took her to number 11 on the world rankings and so she's still making her way up those world rankings once again at the moment now this i can tell you will be a ninth meeting between these two players and rather ominous for danish fans is the fact that mia blickfeld has only won one of the previous eight encounters chenu fei in eight. fact has won the last okay, five ladies. including Check. that last Black meeting which red. was last year red. at the thailand 500 event 21 16 21 10 in 40 minutes she chose side so red. Chen Ufei okay. has won the toss of the coin and has chosen to start the near side of the court. Well, the lone hopes not just of Denmark but of Europe in the women's singles draw. Mia Blickfeldt knows. Steen's telling me that's not right. Carolina Marin, of course, former champion, three-time former champion. Uh, Chen Ufei is 25 years of age. I had her down at 173, which is 5 foot 8. Born in Hangzhou, which is where the Asian Games will take place next month. And that is, of course, the capital of Xijiang province in China. She had a bye in the first round, as indeed all seeds did in the women's singles. And then in the second round, beat Pai Yu Po of Chinese Taipei in just 37 minutes. Won the Indonesian Super 1000 this year, a beaten in the final of the All England, which is also a Super 1000. So Chen Fei has been doing well in the big tournaments. Mia Blickfeldt is 26 years of age. In fact, she turned 26 last Saturday, five days ago. And uh, again, I've got different heights for most of these players. I've got her down at 174, which is five foot eight and a half. Well, she was a number 11 in the world for a total of four weeks across two different spells, uh, but both of those back in 2019. Uh, so she has had her injury problems, her ranking had dropped, uh, but I think she's beginning to rekindle some very good form. As the number 15 seed, she had a bye in the first round and then played Rachel Dara of Ireland in the second round, 21-14, uh, 21-17 in 41 minutes. Play. So our court officials uh, for this one, and I am pretty certain I've got this right to both Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well done, Steen. Good job you can keep an eye on me. So the Danish coaching bench, Kenneth Jonasson on the right as we look at them, the head coach to the Danish national team, and Jesper Holgaard, the other coach. Floy Egan, former world number three men's singles player, is on the coaching bench for Chen Fei. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chen Yufei, China. And on my left, Mia Blickfeld, Denmark. Chen Yufei to serve. Love all. Play. So Chen Yufei chose ends, and obviously Mia Blickfeld has chosen to receive. It has become very trendy, hasn't it, Steen, for players to choose to receive. I don't know whether that's it's perceived as it's not an advantage at all to serve. Or, I, I, I mean, I would have thought that it's the one shot in the rally where you have total control and therefore <laughs> yeah. you would want to, to serve because you can, you can do what you want. Yeah, I think um, it, perhaps also it shows a little bit whether you consider yourself a strong server or a, a player that basically uses it to get the rally started just. Yeah. Now, Chen Fei, by a number of the fans around the world, has dubbed the top four seeds that we have at the World Championships. Anse Young, uh, Chen Fei, of course, Tai Su Ying and Akane Yamaguchi is the fab four. Yeah. What, what do you see with Chen Fei that makes her outstanding? Of course, there's three others that are outstanding as well. Yeah. But what what separates her from so many of the contenders? Yeah, uh, again, a little bit uh, the same we talked about with, with Pranoy, um, that she's able to tailor her game to uh, the various opponents that she meets. She has no real big weaknesses. If we should mention one is she doesn't really have a big smash or a, or a big weapon. So and I think that's also why it took some time before she sort of uh, came of age as uh, a women's singles player. Well, I'm not quite sure what the umpire was saying there. But sorry to interrupt. Carry on, Steve. Um, super good um, movement on court. Great defense. Good net game. Good net shot there from Blickfeld. You could perhaps also say that the shot selection is not as adventurous as we see for instance Tai Su Ying um, but but uh, really good at spoiling the opponent's uh, game uh, Chen Fei or neutralizing it yeah and um, I remember when you and I were commentating on Lena Kersfeld I think it was yesterday yeah. and you talked about her movement not being as strong as the Fab Four or, you know, the top women singles players. Definitely. But I think that Mia Blickfeld is a stronger mover yes. than uh, Lena Kiersfeld. I, and, and, I totally agree. And she's got, has she got bigger repertoire of shots as well? What, what would you say was, was her outstanding attributes as, as a badminton player? Yeah, and that is that uh, that for a European player, she's got really, really good movement on court. She can play 
a more patient game, a more retrieving game, so, so she can be really difficult to score against. That's also why, at some points, Tiana Fey has had some uh, some problems with uh, with Mia Blickfeld because she covers the court really well when she's in in good shape. I think, though, that she has a lot of potential that she hasn't really um, gotten out yet in terms of the shot making and so on, because she's got good attacking shots as well. Um, where she perhaps needs a little bit of um, development could be on the uh, front court shots. And of course, she's been very open about having these um, um, challenges and mentally and, uh, yeah. and got anxiety during um, the COVID. Good rally here. It's a fabulous rally. Oh, she's missed it. It's wide by a whisker. Service over. Five, three. Yep, clearly wide. Yeah. And this is where, if you want to beat the Olympic champion, you keep a straight face here and, and say, OK, that was number one. Yeah. There's going to be try again. lots of these rallies. And if you want to beat me, then you're probably not going to win the next match. Yeah. 35 shots, the longest rally so far. Brutal rally. Wide. because I have, of course, no medical training whatsoever, but I never know whether it's a good thing to openly discuss mental health issues and, and whether that, in fact, gives your opponents an advantage because you know a player has struggled. But it was, it was really to do with the COVID situation and, and being in lockdown, was it? I, I think so. I'm, I'm yeah. not totally sure. But, yeah. But um, I think, from, from what I've heard, she's only had positive... Um, reactions or overwhelmingly positive reactions yeah, well, to it. And there's nothing that you sort of like try to hide anymore and so no. on. So, so. And, and it, it maybe not only helps her to talk about it, but helps others if she yeah. talks about yeah. it. Seven, four. Good attack from Chen Yufei. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a difficult match for Mia Blitzfeld. And the only time that she's defeated Chen Fei, that was at the Uber Cup in 2018, where for the first time Chen was the uh, first women's singles for China. And she was still young and inexperienced. And she was uh, a nervous wreck in that match. Yeah, that uh, was back in 2018, yeah. wasn't it, in the quarterfinal? And Blitzfeld exploited it uh, perfectly. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, that uh, Chen Fei is playing on that level today. I think she's much, much more experienced and much more mature. She had an incredible year back in 2019, Chen Fei. Seven titles in one calendar year. Oh, that's beautiful. What a lovely shot. Ten, four. Super shot quality. Mia. It's not the hardest smash, but it's super well placed. Wide. Oh. Just Service over. Five, ten. The NHBA has done a lot to reduce the drift in the arena here. 
but still very windy sideways drift. Yeah, got badly so deflected by the net cord, that push five. from Chen Fei. And therefore, the Olympic champion goes to the mid-game interval with a six-point advantage. <laughs> Oh, she seemed hesitant there. Twelve. Did she think five. it wasn't coming over? No, I think she stepped away from the net after the um, service return flick felt. And again, good shot quality from uh, Chen Fei. That was exactly what they discussed, the Danes, in the interval, that there needed to be height on the shots to Chen Fei's uh, round the head side. Otherwise, she was uh, going in attacking. That was the majority of the uh, discussion was about that side and uh, that Blakefield should step in on the front court. Service over. She hasn't really found the length. 13, six. No. follow-up my goodness that was well constructed yeah. that rally and that's what I would like to see Mia Blickfeld uh, utilize a lot more because she has attacking abilities she's a tall player she's she's moving really well um, she can attack a lot more than we see her do these days even though it's become a lot lot better um, here in the uh, 2023. So if you can mix that up with a good defense, with good retrieval, then uh, 14, I think there's potential in it. <laughs> Straight down the line. That was pinpoint accuracy. Service over. Well, that is what you call perfection. It's gone long. Yeah, it's terribly difficult to control the lift. Yeah, but that's one of the things again where Blickford plays this cross flat that one and steps a little bit back and that's where she needs to sense that this is going to be a block from Chen Fei and step and, forward and, and stay stay close to the net yeah categories shot quality is super important the better shot quality the more you can tell about the possibilities of your opponent you can rule out certain shots oh that's brilliant from Chen Fei. what a lovely shot
and again threaded it down that backhand side of Chen Ufei. Now it really is working extremely well. 9-17. Yeah, coach has noticed it too. Yeah. Good. She's challenging Mia Blickfeld. Difficult to see, but my initial reaction was that uh, I agree with the line judge. Challenge. Correction out. Ten seventeen. Play. That's a delightful little slice, isn't it? Because the racket head still comes through quickly, but because of the glancing blow, 11, spins 17. the shuttle, and the shuttle dies very quickly. That's a super shot. That's going wide. I like the backhand cross court Service net shot over. early on in that rally from Blickfeld. Yeah. But also the leave from Chen Fei here that we've seen a number of players that have just played it because they were a little bit unsecure. Challenge that. Can you fair challenges called out? Now, have I used my two challenges? First one was wrong. Yeah. I think this is going to This is wide. I think it's in. Come on, Hong Kong. <laughs> Here we go. Stain. That's a great challenge Correction from Chen and Fei. In. You've got no challenges left in this no. opening game, Steen. I've got a need of new glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Two points away from the opening game, Chen and Fei. Yeah. 
one point away from the opening game. game. Point 12. Opening game, 21-12. First game won by Chen Yufei, 21-12. Chen Yufei, the Olympic champion. Well, she has two bronze medals and a silver medal from world championships. Chasing the elusive gold. <laughs> Skæringen <laughs> Vi skal have møde, når vi er på. Nu slår vi en kunde, og vi hænger en lille smule. Det er rigtig vigtigt, at vi får den møde, for ellers får vi ikke åbnet. Okay? Jeg skal i hvert fald trykke mere til at bruge. Ja, i uh, for din baghånd lige, ikke? Det kan du godt trykke til. Okay? Det skal jeg. Lige fornemme her, når der er de der små chancer i duellen, som nogle gange er lidt, u- lidt for tålmodige her. Nogle løfter her, så skal vi lægge noget tryk på at komme frem og stresse. Ja, okay? Vi arbejder fint med en duellerne her. Vi fik til nogle løsninger til sidst her. Ja. Det er flere slag på, som selv siger her. Forbanen skal til en kort lang på en gabane. Kæmpe stor. Drejer den der, ikke? Over en kort. Men når lige om clearen igen her, den skal med nu til et angrebslag. Alright? Well, I do apologize if uh, our microphones picked up some language that may be offensive to some. So one game to the good, Chen Ufei against Denmark's very own Mia Blikfeldt. Yeah, that's good placement of the attack from Chen Ufei. Steam, what was um, uh, coach uh, Jesper Hilgel uh, advising there? Yeah, they, Just they summarize. Were, they were talking about um, um, quite a few things. It was important that um, Mia Blickfeld used uh, a variety of her stroke repertoire. And the overall plan, I think, was to uh, to make the court big. Service over. The court of uh, Chenufe, of course. Oh. And sometimes play clears in a good position instead of just playing it every time she was a little bit uh, under pressure. Then picking up on the uh, small chances and setting uh, putting Chen Fei under pressure in those situations, not necessarily uh, winning the next two, three shots, but uh, definitely challenging. That's uh, good Service play over. from Chen Fei. Good movement. One. Mia, Mia, you must ask me first. Yeah. Giving herself a bit of margin for error. Given the drift, Chen Fei, that's very sensible and very clever play. A super shot, isn't it? So accurate. Four, um, one. A little worrying 
uh, from the Danish perspective is that we've seen the previous match where we saw that when you're standing on this near side of the court, if you're a little bit late, if you're a little bit under pressure, then it's difficult to maintain the shot quality in terms of hitting the uh, back line. And even if you hit it, then uh, it seems like the attack bites a little bit more from the uh, opposite side of the court. I'm a little bit concerned about Mia Blickfeld's body language. You know, after rally, yeah. she's looking a bit down on herself. Yeah. You think? And look, look, she's yeah. talking to herself now. Yeah. All the Danes, they really want to do well here on of home course. soil. And uh, of course. they probably have followed the mixed double and men's doubles and uh, the joy that they've experienced. Oh, Boy, that's, that's a good. beauty from uh, Chen Fei. Yeah. How she put that away. That wasn't easy, but she made it look easy. Jesper Hogg was saying, he wants her to play the front court, just lifting on everything. And that was one of the things that uh, I alluded to in the opening, yeah. that... Uh, the front court play, perhaps. Uh... What a great smash. She put that away with venom. Oh. Service over. Three, six. Fantastic shot from Chen Fei. This, this, this becomes an attacking shot, but it really is just a, a, a neutralizing shot. Yeah, there was, it was just sort of an overhead clip down, wasn't there? Yes. Virtually no follow through. Look at that rebound action of the racket arm after she's hit the shuttle. Terrific. Is there any deception on Blickfeld's service return here? A little. But unfortunately, it's gone long. Yeah. Eight, three. And that's one of the key issues that the service return needs to have some sort of deception on it. Otherwise, it's too easy readable for the best players in the world. Perfect. Yeah, that little Service jump up and down on the spot, I think he's trying to relax Four, herself. Eight. She's uh, very wound up at the moment. I think so, too. Yeah, that was an absolutely perfect placement. Service Lucky net court. Yeah, a little smile from Chin Fei. Yeah. Those little deflections make it so difficult to defend. That's well left. Smash. Service over. 
good tactical Five, awareness ten. to go cross court. Mia. 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 And the umpire's going to have a word with Mia Blickfeld here. Like that, okay? Well, I'm not quite sure. She said something about... She was not allowed to, to uh, hit the shuttle up in the air because she felt the umpire felt that she was testing it. OK. Uh. That's a very, very well-constructed rally by Mia Blickfeld. Six, ten. Oh, she did well on that. Would have been awfully easy to take that before it come over the net. A bit of a reverse slice on that six. smash from Chen Fei, And she has a five-point advantage here in the second game, having already won the first. Okay. Okay. Vi skal det er svært for dig at spille i forbanen. Okay, men så skal vi i hvert fald spille det andet hjørne. All right? Så tryk lidt til bøjene. Jeg skal ikke trykke til dem. Nej, jeg siger, at hvis du kommer op, når du føler usikker om, så tryk til dem. Hvis du ikke kan lægge dem ind. Vi vil helst have, at du spiller dem helt andet. Jeg føler bare, at jeg skal ind og køre noget sådan... Det er til 20. 11, 6. So as play resumes, I have to say I didn't really like the body language between player and coach. The coach left court without making eye contact with Mia Blickfeld. I don't know what was said. I'm not going to ask you to translate what was said, Steve, because it's probably best that that's left between the two of them. Uh, it's difficult to hear. Yeah. Oh, she's been well tuned for it. Yeah, super play. 13, 6. It's so difficult sometimes for athletes in any sport, Steen. You know, uh, Mia Blickfeld, she's playing at home, home world championships. She so so desperately wants to do well, yeah. and you can you can over want it, and you get yourself so worked up because yeah. you want it so badly that you can't actually see the wood for the trees. Do you know that English okay. expression? Yes. Yeah. Yes. In Denmark, it's the forest for the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. yeah, but it's also it's also about um, 14. the opposition. Yes. The kind of opposition or you're up against. And, and this is from the top shelf, as you said, the Fat Four. Yeah. Perhaps the one. I mean, she won the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Service over. 7 14. Well, a blick felt desperately, desperately needs a little run of points right now. Yeah. Well, uh, unsighted. Uh, the line judge, I think the line judge was sighted, but didn't felt it was too close to make a call because there was no uh, player in in his sight line or her sight line. 
But the umpire has immediately asked for the instant review, so nobody will lose a, a challenge here. Yep. Down the line. Yeah. Service from Chen Ufei. Chen Ufei, you, I mean, eight. even if you're a Danish fan, you've got to admit Chen Ufei is playing well. Super well. Well, Chen Ufei is Chen Ufei challenging, and certainly eight. from where we are, but we're far away from that back line far side of the court as we sit down looking uh, at the court just as all of you do at home here we go I'm on the line Over 9.15. Play. That's great great Lovely. Well, the home fans desperately trying to lift the spirits of Mia Blickfeld. straight points and only four points in it so all of a sudden it's believable again oh that's just wide that's a pity from a Danish Service perspective over. that can you error on the return of serve got to make your opponent play the shuttle well, to me it seems like more or less every rally is evaluated I don't think you can do that yeah got behind that well Chen Ufei 18 11 and she just looks strong Chen Ufei. Pushed it wide. Well, I told you at the start of this, it was a fifth world championship for Chen Ufei. And she's only two points away from a fifth consecutive quarter final. Yeah. How's that for consistency? Oh, perfection, beauty. absolute perfection, and what a way 20, to bring up match, match point, point opportunities. 
Yeah. Well saved. Service over. And it's 12, still another eight 20. opportunities for Chen and Fei to close out this match in two straight games. Good shots. Yeah. I like that drive defence. Yeah, from the backhand. Yep. Yeah. Especially cross because you get help from the drift, so you can you can get a lot of pace in it. Yeah. Beautiful. Third match point for the number three seed, Chen Fei. And third time of asking, and she converts. 21-12, 21-13, the margin of her victory. Uh, just under 40 minutes. And Chen Fei through to a fifth consecutive quarter-final in her fifth World Championships. And tomorrow she will play against the former Asian champion, Wang Shiyi, her compatriot from China. Well, it Match was a brave one, fight by Blickfeld. 21-12, 21-13. A moment of victory. And scoreline suggests it was fairly straightforward. I always felt that Chen Fei was in control. So, 40 minutes. And Chen Fei through to the quarterfinal, beating Mia Blickfeld. 21-12, 21-13. She stops to sign the autographs and we look forward to our next match. And it's a repeat of the semi-final from Tokyo a year ago. It is the defending and two-time champion Victor Axelson up against Cho Tien Chen of Chinese Taipei.
So welcome back to the Royal Arena. It is third round action all of today. And next up, we've got men's singles and we've got the defending world champion. He also happens to be the Olympic champion. Victor Axelsson, the number one player in the world in a repeat of the semi-final from last year against Chu Tian Chen, the number 10 seed this year from Chinese Taipei. Well, of course, with Victor Axelsson being the number one seed, this is from the top half of the draw. Uh, we, if you were with us earlier, you will have seen Pranoy come through a thriller against the 2021 world champion, Lo Ken Yu. Also through is the beaten finalist at the last world championships, Kunla Wu 